We're going to make a, a dynamic view now of the uh, supraspinatus going under the acromion. Um, for this, we place the probe in the set. Uh, well, first of all, we have the arm in neutral. It's a bit different from before when we had the arm in retroflexion. So the supraspinatus is going to be a bit more anteriorly. So I'm going to scan here. Uh, now my probe is a bit more orientated uh, in this direction. Um, and then I place the probe here on the acromion. I can palpate it here. I place it on the acromion here and distally it goes on the supraspinatus. Of course, we're not in a retroflexion, so that means we're going to see less of the tendon because in this position you cannot see the whole tendon very clearly. So uh, if we can look at the image now, then we see on the left, we see the bone of the acromion. It stops here and then a bit more lateral. We see, we recognize this from before. This is the humeral head and this is the ski slope and this is the tendon overlying it. This line here is the bursa. And we're going to see now what happens when we do a dynamic maneuver. For this, it's easiest to do it yourself. Don't ask the patient because they're going to go every way except the way you want them to go. Uh, so I do this and then I'm going to make this uh, passive movement in this direction. So if you can check the image. Here we have the neutral position. Now I'm going to go into abduction. Abduction, now we see the last bit of tendon going under, now the greater tuberosity is going under. And we go back, oh, and there we go. We see the bursa, we see that it creates a nice sliding uh, for the uh, tendon to go uh, under the acromion. Uh, we still show this position because it's in all the international protocols, but um, like I said in the course, um, when I learned this scan, I thought I was gonna see all the impingements uh, all the reasons why the people's shoulder would not go up, but um, I didn't see anything impinging. So it's uh, sometimes, in some particular cases, you can see, for instance, a very big calcification touching the acromion. The patient says, oh, at this point I have my pain, you can have a good correlation. But in most cases, it's not a very useful scan. It can be useful, though, for educating your patient. If the patient thinks that they have a serious impingement, that the bone and bone are scraping together. Now you can use this, you can scan it, you can show them that it slides under perfectly and you can tell them uh, even you can make it more uh, strong, create a placebo saying, look, it's going under very well actually. You have a lot of space and you create a perfect placebo. So in that case, you can also use your, your ultrasound scan dynamically for that.